Aloha and welcome to the Embodied Healing Self Podcast with your host, Jen Mons. Each week, join me for soul-inspired, conscious conversations around embodied healing and awakening to your soul's purpose. Thank you for listening in. Aloha, my podcast community, friends and family. Welcome back to this week's episode of the Embodied Healing Self. So this week, we're going to talk about how decluttering and cleansing in all areas of our life is good for the soul and why. And you may even be noticing that if you're in a place of expansion right now, you might be noticing just kind of the need to like cleanse and detox your house, to cleanse and detox your body, maybe even relationships, all of those things might be coming through for you. So this really comes from the foundation that the program that I begin as I'm embarking on a journey with 10 new amazing women in our North Star Collective for 2021, when we begin our journey together or when I begin a journey with a private coaching client that I'm taking through in my mentorship program, we always start by creating sacred space. And so you may remember the podcast that I recorded on creating sacred space, episode 47 from 2020, back in February. And I'm just going to kind of unpeel another layer around this and, you know, invite you to just lean into, are you noticing that when you go through a personal expansion, you expand in other areas of your life, and sometimes that is a calling for us to declutter the old and create space for the new. And I am just going to share with you that on the other side of that is absolute freedom and energy and vitality. So many of you know that for many years, I was a health coach. I specialized in detoxification and functional medicine. And one of the things that I love to do for so many years is lead groups of people through a seasonal detox or cleanse program. And it was a very holistic approach to really diving deep into our relationship with food, our emotional relationship, our thoughts, our beliefs, but also learning how to understand to nourish ourselves seasonally with where we live, right? Because I live in Florida and winter looks very different where I live than, say, somebody who lives in Canada. And also Ayurvedically for our constitution. So you might be familiar with Vata, Pitta, and Kapha, which have very different energetic constitutions very different needs nutritionally. So really understanding that the body is an energetic and also physical body. And taking it beyond that and noticing that our home reflects our internal home. So if you look around in your home right now and you're noticing clutter and it's hard to concentrate and you're noticing old things that you're still holding on to, it might be time for you to declutter. In the work that I do, it is a foundational practice for me to clear space. Before every coaching session, whether it's group or private, before every yoga class I ever taught, before any webinar I've ever done before any time I've ever spoken in front of groups of people, the one thing that I create is my foundation is clearing space, which I also like to call creating sacred space. It allows us to create space for something new. When we cleanse, when we cleanse out the old kind of junk, the lower vibration, And being a person who guides people to create change in their life, whether it's in their health or their work or in their relationship with their own self-worth, the place that we start is cleansing out old 
patterns, and behaviors that no longer serve us. And this usually starts with, number one, our calendar, right? So how many of you can relate to having too many, quote, to do things on the calendar? That's a great place to start creating space. The calendar, our house, our closets, maybe even our refrigerators, and just getting super clear about having things that feel good and are in alignment with their values and only those things. Because the more that we get clear on what our values are and what is important to us, then the more space we have for expansion. So if you notice that you have a closet full of clothes that you don't wear anymore, sister, it might just be time for you to do a little purge and a little cleanse. If you notice that there are relationships in your life that are no longer congruent with your values and your beliefs and that feel toxic, then it might be time to lovingly let those relationships go. If you're feeling tired and bogged down and heavy and overwhelmed and stuck, there may be an opportunity for you to do some cleansing energetically through shadow work, through subconscious healing and reprogramming, and also physically in your body with healthy foods. And I want to invite you to just explore with me a little bit why all these things matter. It's usually easy for people to start with the physical body first. So food and exercise are great ways to detox. It's a way that we can lose weight. It's a way that we can detox stress. It's a way that we can see results when we commit to those changes. And it's not enough. It's not everything. We have to be willing to have healthy relationships with food and exercise with our body, with all of the people that are in our lives. So that requires emotional empowerment. It requires that we actually explore and discover the triggers or I like to call them activations once we get into a place in our life where we can recognize these patterns. They become activations because we then have a choice, whereas a trigger is a little bit more trauma response. So if you're still in a place of being really, really triggered by what people say, what people do, then that is an invitation for you to lean in and get some support around either a coach or a therapist, depending on what the trauma response is that comes up to help you to really get supported on understanding where this is coming from, how it's showing up in your life, and clearing those subconscious patterns and beliefs and fears that just keep showing up. Because the energy around it is very dense, and sometimes we're holding on to energy that is karmic, generational. It is, you know, very much beliefs and thought patterns that have been in our family for generations that might feel out of alignment for us, and so it feels heavy. So there's that part of really leaning into and clearing energy, and then there's also the physical space of really cleansing and decluttering in your physical home to create more clarity in your life. And what I have noticed over the years is this becomes, as we expand and grow in our personal life, one of the things that I have witnessed is that most oftentimes we become less attached to material things. And we become very aware that we are a stand for certain things and that those are the only things that we really truly want in our lives. And, you know, it's also interesting to consider If you are somebody who maybe does have a lot of clutter in your life, maybe you do hold on to things and have a hard time letting go. Like, what is that about? Right? Thinking about the things that we need and the things that we want, the things that we hold on to. And then thinking about all the work that it takes to manage all those things. In 2016, my family was, we were removed from our home for, we kind of moved in and out for about nine months from a hurricane. And it became very clear to me that there was very little that I actually needed or cared about. And it was funny to see the things that came up because I thought, if I have to evacuate and lose my home, what, it, what really matters? 
the kids, the photo albums, my work computer, the kids' artwork, a couple pieces of jewelry, a couple of clothing items that I felt really good in that were super comfortable. That was really it. I started to think about how really everything else is, you know, just filling the house. Now, as I say this, I am sitting in literally this year being an expansive year for me personally, professionally, and physically in the fact that we are remodeling our house and expanding to build an office suite for me. So we are expanding physically, but also cutting down massively on everything that fills up the space. I'm looking at getting furniture built in so I don't have to buy it. And creating more space for plants and live things that I really enjoy. So that it feels spacious and comfortable in my home. So I want to invite you just to consider for a moment. Whether it's your environment, the things that you own, or your inner space your mental, emotional beliefs, your physical health with the food you eat, your energy, your subconscious beliefs. What in your life are you ready to clear space for? What are you ready to declutter? Because it is all related. Oftentimes the people that feel like they have to hold on to everything and they just can't let go I see this even in weight loss, like you can eat super healthy, but energetically people can be totally afraid to let go emotionally and then that makes it hard for them to lose weight or hard to let go of physical things in your house because change is just too difficult. It takes a lot of trust to trust in the future. So I invite you just to take a look around in your life and just notice like what in your life do you feel like you're still holding on to? What are you ready to let go of? What are you ready to step into? What beliefs, what foods, what physical things are you ready to let go and declutter in your life and create space for more vitality, more freedom, more vibrance, more healing, more energy, more love, all the things that actually really fill you up, right? Not the clothes that make you feel good. Feel good without the things. Wear the things that do make you feel good, but It's all about finding that within you first. So I want to invite you, since you're joining the show with me, to just think of the areas in your life where you might be willing to create a little space, declutter, let go. So we talk about the physical, so through foods, and I'm going to invite you to go to my website. I have some online courses on intuitive nourishment that will take you through seasonal detoxes and cleanses that I talked about. This March, I will be doing a group one. So you'll be able to find out more on my website in March. I'll probably mention it again on the podcast again, but you can do it your, on your own. If you go to genmons.com forward slash courses, work with me courses, you can find your intuitive nourishment, seasonal detox and cleanse, and you can read the praise on my website. I led those things for 10 years, thousands of women. Letting go of, gosh, extra weight, toxicity, living in more vibrance, more energy, better sleep, better skin, better mood. Letting go of seasonal allergies because they reduce the inflammation in their body just through healthy eating. So is that an area that you want to increase this year your vitality and your health do you want to increase the exchange of energy in your relationships call in more healthy relationships do you want to create more sacred space in your home i went a whole year in 2019 without buying anything that was my new year's kind of my word for the year was abundance (laughs) interestingly enough in 2019 And I went the whole year without buying anything. Not one thing. Not one thing for myself. It felt really good. Super duper good. I'm going to do it again this year. Because the truth is I already have everything I need. Unless I have a really good reason. Then I just, I don't 
really need to buy anything. I like to invest my money in really healthy, delicious foods. And well, this year we're doing a major, like I said, basically expansion remodel of the house. We've been here 12 years. We've been waiting to do this. The housing, I guess, uh, you know, industry or whatever you want to call it is just absolutely bonkers right now where I live. I get notes every day. People want to buy my house. A lot of people from up north. I live very close to the beach in California and I think I'm going to stay. I'm going to make it the way I want it. I'm going to be here until we were planning to retire in Hawaii, which is, we already have that property. That's kind of our retirement plan. Live on a boat, live in Hawaii. So yeah, we're expanding in ways that are meaningful and intentional, creating space with less things. It's intentional space. It's really space for me to continue growing my company as I launch this light life coaching school this year. It's already have a team of four people working for me. Things are expanding very quickly as I have realized the value of really the core competency skills and ethical standards in coaching. I have really just noticed that it is something I am passionate about, teaching people to be their own awakened embodied healer and the coaching skills to hold the space for other people. So as I'm expanding professionally, I'm expanding in my house personally, creating that space for an entire office suite, which feels really good to be able to do that. It's all just energy. So asking yourself right now, what do you want to declutter? And why do we do this? Because it brings us clarity. It brings us clarity. So what are you willing to let go of? You could start with your closet. You could start with one drawer in your house. You could start with one cabinet in the kitchen. You could start with your refrigerator. I listened to a podcast. I'm really excited to actually have the guest of episode that I listened to with Josh Trent, which from Wellness Force, you may remember him from my podcast, episode 52, Everything Starts With Your Breath. But he had on there a guest, Clay, who is going to be a guest on our show, talking about, are you the consumer or are you the creator? And I have noticed that when I am not consuming, I am creating. So this is why it brings us clarity. It takes us out of consumer consciousness and into creator. And if you're still in consumer consciousness, constantly consuming everything, ask yourself, what am I really trying to fill here? Is there a void I'm trying to fill? Is there something I'm trying to avoid? By consuming, whether it's relationships, right? Like you can consume relationships. If you're dating, you can consume food, be famished all the time. You can consume by just buying things. So what am I, what's really underneath this pattern? Take a step back, set the intention to create a little space. Just taking that step back creates space. Just taking that breath creates space to clear your mind, your emotions, to bring in clarity, to become the creator, the creator of your life experience. And that's really why I want to encourage you. Ask yourself what's an area of your life you're ready to declutter, create space, especially as we approach March. March is spring. The spring equinox is all about new beginnings. I invite you to check out my online courses, Intuitive Nourishment, if you're ready to start with your physical body. If you're looking for a little bit of a deeper dive into the physical body and the emotional, check out the Body Wisdom course. The intuitive nourishment is a little bit more on the detox cleanse side. The body wisdom is nutritional support with emotional empowerment. Some journaling and reflection as well. So I'd love to hear what you have learned from this episode, how this has showed up in your life. There are also people who come in and declutter your closet for you. There's some support around that. So really just allowing yourself that freedom. As we prepare for this remodel, we completely cleaned out our garage and because we're going to be adding above the garage. And it was like so satisfying to just donate, 
and throw away what couldn't be donated and just completely cleanse. And actually, I'm in a practice of we do a donation once a month at our house. And if I buy a pair of shoes, it replaces another pair of shoes. So the one comes in, one goes out. So I'd like to hear what practices do you have to keep clarity and sacred space in your home, in your body, and in your relationships. I hope that I've provided you for some tips this week. Thank you for joining me, and I look forward to meeting up with you again next week. Aloha. friends and thank you so much for joining me today and being a part of this community. I know there are many other podcasts that you could be tuning into and I am deeply honored that you chose to listen in and be present with me today. I love and cherish and appreciate you and I want to invite you to join our tribe and Facebook group under jenmons.com forward slash connect. I would also love to gift you your guide to discovering and overcoming the self-limiting beliefs standing in the way of you living in optimal health, more energy, fulfillment, and self-confidence to create an embodied, healthy, whole you. You can find this at genmons.com forward slash tribe. I also have one small request to help spread the love. In order for this podcast to show up in the feed of social media platforms of other like-minded people, we need reviews. So please head on over to genmons.com slash podcast to leave a review. You will also find other inspiring episodes on that page. So I personally read these reviews weekly and would love to give you a shout out and share your kind words with our listeners. You can find me on Instagram and Facebook as Jen Mons or The Holistic Coach with the W Holistic and Jen Mons, J-E-N-M-O-N-S dot com. Thank you so much and have an amazing day. Aloha.